Ten seconds remaining. Five seconds remaining. Oh, Axe. Fanatics turn to pick. Ten seconds remaining. Five seconds remaining. Reserve time. Well, that was, uh, <laughs> if they weren't already spooked, guys, I think Fnatic uh, probably is now in this best of three as we approach Halloween. Game two has already begun, uh, so we're going to very quickly hop into the draft here. We can whew, try to take a deep breath, I guess. Uh, Fnatic really didn't take that much of a break. I don't know if the admins forced them to start game two very quickly, if they... You know, it's been like 10 minutes in between, right? It hasn't really been. It yeah. feels like it's been like Look, one minute. Both of us ate a burger. That's, <laughs> went to the I, I wouldn't call it eating. It was more like <laughs> stuffing it down my house. I watched in the house play Civ 6. You know, it's yeah. like we had time. Well, that, the that, takes, that, that takes a few hours, I'm sure. The, the, faces that, <laughs> the faces that we saw when we walked out into like the main kind of area where everyone else was watching the game, the, the sheer like stupefied look on everyone's faces, I think, really said it all. And, can Fnatic recover? I think that's I the know. question. I mean, for a guy who has a website named after him for his throws, Demon has got to be pretty frustrated with some teammates right now. I mean, that was that was really Mushi Dota to the the next next level. Mushi might not have the website, but I mean, Mushi's had some of those. Like Mushi's track record <laughs> of incredible individual play at times, and then incredible individual throws at other times uh, is pretty close to unparalleled. So, you just don't know which Mushi you're gonna get. Uh, certainly, that was a team game, yes. team effort. Manessi really fought well to come back. Team uh, effort, which way? <laughs> Both ways. I mean, you could argue Miracle's build put them in the hole a little yeah. bit to begin with. So it's not like everyone played perfectly. There's lots of blame to go around for both teams, but this is Dota, and it's not about who makes uh, no mistakes, it's about who makes the Radiant least mistakes. So we head into game number two. Draft well underway. Let's get into the picks, guys. Bounty Hunter, first overall. Maneski, quick reply, the Ogre, the Axe, and Fnatic go back for the Demon Keep of the Light. I want to point out that uh, Fnatic, again, first phase banning not only the Naga, but Ten also the Jug. Seconds. They are not going to let Miracle play his normal brand of Miracle Dota, and they even Five banned the Lifestealer. Meaning. Which is not really what I consider a miracle hero, but he tried to make it one last game. <laughs> Anything Look, that can go Radiant's ban to Octor, it has to be taken off the table now. Unfortunately, they don't have 112 bans, so they're going to have to just make do with what they have. In the meantime, I'm su assuming that that's going to be a phase 2 miracle pickup, just to make sure that they get his hero, as that is clearly what Fnatic are targeting for. Um, Medusa actually going to be banned out as well from Mineski, so... Uh, Fnatic obviously have played that a couple times for Mushi in the mid lane, but uh, yeah, I guess the Caudal Bounty Hunter is really about extending the game through the Illuminate counter push, and then the Track Gold just giving somebody a really good path to some of these big items. So taking out a couple Mushi mids, and uh, yeah, it's going to be I guess about the least favored cores in this uh, draft. So. Uh... You're heading into game two. It's Bineski. Uh They actually have a 1-0 advantage. Do they pull the cheese here? Do they... <laughs> Admiring Rob's camera work on the five minutes ago replay. Oh, my Very God. impressive stuff, Rob. Um, do they go for like a drought strat? Do we see something unconventional from either team? Fnatic with the Keeper? Are we going to see, I don't know, a Storm Spirit? Like, why Keeper? Naga is banned already. Um, why do you think they value it so highly? 
I mean, Demon has made a really good use of the Keeper of the Light over the past couple of months. His performance on the Hero on TNC has kind of showcased that it can be kind of a standalone support in the lane. Uh, obviously, it doesn't get to do the Mana Leak thing as effect Ten efficiently anymore. Doubling the Mana cost of that spell really kind of changed the scope of the Hero. Because his Five Illuminate is better, and if used correctly, his Blinding Glade is a lot better. Oh, but Lord. you can't really just do the single zoning thing. So we'll see exactly pick. how they can take advantage of it. For now, the Bounty Hunter is going to be on the Lamb, and then... The keeper will keep one support uh, or one carry in the safe lane. Very happy. I also think that a uh, keeper is quite good against heroes like Ogre and X. Like, mm -hmm. given how long these fights tend to last, Ten you put a mana leak on Ogre, really he's actually just done. Right? Either he removes his own mana pool, or he's not doing Five anything for the next remaining. six, seven seconds. So, well, unless he gets an Aghanims and a Shivas, and then he just eh, plows well. into you regardless. The game hopefully does not go that long. Of course. Of course. Also, keeper is actually pretty good at offensive. Uh, we've seen that the. Uh, the keeper PA dual offensive lanes. I'm not sure if we're gonna get it here, but no, they it's doable. They nerfed the dagger a lot, yeah. so probably not. Hmm. Warlock gonna be picked up though for the first time in this series, at least. I'm not sure if we got to look at him in the, the faceless one, but in either case, this hero is obviously one that has a lot of potential. But I'm curious, actually, what they're drafting it against. I mean, there's still gonna be some good burst damage coming out from Fnatic, and I assume they're gonna continue to draft in that capacity. Uh, it seems like they really want to go for that one big call. Like, they want to go for a big team fight where the axe jumps Ooh. in, and then the Warlock can follow it up. And All then... right. This is really different. Well, this changes everything, Blaze, doesn't it? Spectre, picked up by Fnatic. I think it was seen once yesterday in the America qualifiers. Mm -hmm. uh, I didn't see the whole game, but when I was watching, he was getting owned. Well, I can tell you it's probably not the same capacity, because Fnatic, the last time they ran Spectre and Bounty Hunter on the same team, they ran it mid. Dual lane mid, yeah. Five but I don't think you want to do that against a, uh, an oh. Axe, for sure. I mean, Axe is either jungler or already in offlane, right? So You could change it up, though. Yeah, you right. can do whatever you want with him, really. I gotta say, Spectre normally picked as a Drow counter pick or a Tinker counter pick, good against heroes that you need to get up close to. Feels like they are just picking Spectre because they think the hero's good and it fits in their draft. Hmm. I don't know about that though. He's best to, He's like best to get squishy heroes though, right? And they already have three tanks. Yeah. The big thing that I do like about it is that it'll keep Axe's Blink Dagger on cooldown. Any hero like the the Zeus or the Spectre, some cases the Prophet, can always make sure that you get at least some uh, global hits on the Axe, which makes his initiation a lot harder. And now, yeah, they're relying on a bunch of other spells to really start the fight. So I assume that Rock is probably going to be the big one from Warlock, and then uh, Marana obviously fishing for arrows wherever she can. Yep. At the very least, like, you're never out of the game as Fnatic, right? One good haunt, a couple of tri kills, you're kind of right back in it. So I think Fnatic has a lot of play, and oh, there you go. Look That's at this. Good old Wombo combo. This was a very popular combo with Darkseer, especially. God, how long ago was it? Was it like about a year ago, maybe? Nine months ago? Um, you Iron Shell the Spectre, Puck yep. gets a coil. Of course, when you're coiled, you want to run. Uh, and when you separate, Spectre really chews you up. But if you don't run, then he just gets to. A Five Chase you down and burn you down with the ion shell. By the way, uh, coil into blinding light, it's pretty much guaranteed yeah. AoE stun. Yeah. yeah. And then you hop really on good. top of that. Ooh. Yeah, who needs a four staff or anything like that? Yeah. Yeah. You get it guaranteed pretty much because the radius is just so dramatically increased that you're going to pop that coil. That's a cool combo. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's strong. Cause, I mean, and yeah, I like I that dark scene, man. But that was the hero in my eyes. Still, Lumi, what do you think of the chances this puck actually goes the offlane? Could Ohio actually play it there? I think without the Drow aura, it's kind of tough. And I haven't seen Ohio actually play it. To me, this is more of a Mushi special. You're definitely not going Drow Spectre. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's not happening. And I, I don't think any of these supports are strong enough to kind of back him up there, right? So seconds, it really? looks like it has to be a Puck mid. Okay. What's it going to be from Five Mr. Seconds, Demon really? to round out the draft? Well, if it's Raven Spectre and Mushi Puck, then Ohio is looking for something. Uh, actually, and a Nature's lot of Prophet is one of his go-tos. That's what I was going to call it. That Radiant was like, such a, a really strong hero. Actually, like... I think it was the last major qualifier, maybe the TI qualifier, where Ohio was just styling on people and on the Nyx Assassin. It feels like he is definitely the best Nyx Assassin in Dota 2, period. Well, and we saw it on RR last game as mm -hmm. well. That... Is it a good Nyx game, though? Because I don't feel like any heroes are particularly... Yeah, Mana Burn's not that great this game. There is a lot of AoE, so Carapace will be very effective. It's good against right. Marana and Warlock, mostly. Like, it's okay. Yeah. You can sometimes you can Ooh. actually carapace attack an axe to get a, an intentional spin and get the the stun, but it's pretty unreliable. It's all and, right. Alk hits the field. Another hero you can go Manta Radiance Octarine. <laughs> well, Mir Miracle is not playing it, so. All right, they can definitely. Swap. They really should give Miracle. They that should hero. give him the eggs on the Morana if he's going to play the Morana. You know, just feed him an eggs. Really? Yeah. yeah. Sure. Why not? 
I don't. I see that. You I think Marana can farm his own axe, right? Yeah, yeah Marana gets the axe. Er but this earlier. is Miracle. You're playing for seven slotted territory, right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'm surprised yeah, Miracle is not playing Alchemist. Well, like, Miracle also apparently loves to sell a lot of items, so I'm sure he wouldn't be fine selling 2,100 gold to to get the the axe earlier and still have it later. Yeah. That's uh, it, probably meantime, more likely. If you do get uh, the alchemist farmed up, he's gonna be really hard to nuke down by fanatic. Like originally, it seemed like they would have a decent bit of burst damage with like shuriken toss and illuminate, and then they went into specter puck, which generally speaking lacks damage unless like Mushi is able to rush out of veil really early and has a great game. So I think the alchemist like gets his level 11, gets his un his heal up so that he's able to survive through pretty much all the damage coming from fanatic, and from there, yeah, he can get massive. And maybe even eventually, like, get a fourth item Ags out to, like, the Ogre to give uh, Jules all that free income that he otherwise would have to farm. Well, they already start here with Dust picked up right away by Mr. Jules, so he'll be looking for AU. Gets the Obs Ward down. Jules also getting his own ward down. Lots of vision around that tower. See AU sneaking around. Do they have a sentry here? They do, actually, on Raging Potato. Probably going to save it for the mid lane, though. And I really want to get the Salka's bounty rune to start the game. So five heroes, four heroes top. Or are hiding out mid. I think the level one's quite good. I, I don't think Fnatic can fight into this. Are they going offensive try lane? Mm -hmm. It's definitely possible. Uh, Looks um, like Marana's going Bassy. Mineske has been running a lot more aggro tries than any other SEA team, and they've mixed it up where they have like a Sand King there, or they. It's have, a Spectre a... pick as well, right? Yeah. Uh, generally, yeah. you want to aggro try, if, or at least go aggressive if you can. Yeah. If there was any doubt that there would be like the Spectre in the mid lane instead, then they wouldn't really have as much incentive. But no, they know the Spectre's going to be up top there, so it seems like the best call to make. All right. Well, after the last game, it seems only fitting we're right back to the brawling status. As the bounty rune is going to be coming out momentarily. It will not be grabbed by the Alpha, that's okay. They get the first blood. They're looking for a second kill. Raven on the run, up the oh, hill, very battle low. Battle hunger up, battle hunger. It's only level one. I think he could just oh, tango man. his way out of this. You know, last time I saw a battle hunger X, battle hunger X, they lost the game. Uh, zero to 13 and 50 Thir minutes. Yeah, 13 minutes and 15 seconds. Yeah. That was actually Fnatic versus Sigtrust, I think? Or was it TNC? I mean, honestly, that's not too bad for Fnatic. Uh, they they get the first blood. Or, sorry, they, they, runes, they get both bounty runes and they yeah. deny the Alk the bounty rune. So mm -hmm. uh, the Alk and Alk skilled spray. acid spray. So, so I think yeah. you're okay with that. The same uh, opener as before, where Axe had to go for the battle hunger and the Alchemist had to go for the acid spray. But the the difference was that Fnatic started that game off with three kills and a fourth shortly thereafter. Yeah, the other slight concern is that Spectre had to walk all the way home. Puck is basically out of HP, uh, so I wouldn't say it's a win, but it's just not its not like a total loss. Uh -huh. so. You will move in, though. Has some sentries already. Stacking being attempted. Yep, did get it off, but AU will scout that out. So they are trying to contest the Spectre, guys. Offensive tri lane here. Yeah. Uh, do you see much kill potential with these heroes? Yeah, I mean, the question is how the Fatal Bonds works out. In the first fight there, it was so good in the Nixus Assassin. You got it on linked to three heroes, and you just let, put an Acid Spray down and laid into them. They, they weren't even focused on the Banner Room. They knew they were going to get stunned by the Nix if he's alive. So they just focused on the Nix instead. And I think it, if you use it properly, that spell can be just absolutely insane. Well, it looks like they're going to break up the trialing. Warlock's going mid to give a little bit of assistance here to Raging Potato. And I think this is actually oh, the nice. right play. Oh, Moshi might actually be dead here. He's got a Fairy Fire, I think. Just three time. Yeah. Okay. Oh, all the creeps died already. Very close. One more auto attack. He's dead there. Close call. As a quelling blade now comes out for Age of Potato. No points in Shadow Ward yet. Still only a level one warlock, and this will relieve the pressure quite a bit on that safe lane Spectre. Still only three and zero. We're even not having the best of times. We do see Ohio though. King of the castle in the bottom lane. Ten and one already. Even beating out an axe in the early stage. Uh, he's gonna start losing this lane. Yeah, but at first just going for the Quelling Blade early is a great way to levy the matchup, and we see RR and Ohio both finding themselves like going for Quelling Blades in 1v1s more often than not, but Max doesn't need it. Mushi's not having a fun time here in the mid lane, guys. No. He uh, well, he's the got Fairy fire. Is worn off. He's got Fairy Fire, so yeah. he's just going to sell for now, and needs to drop his Null Tally for that efficiency. It's actually really important. It changes the HP threshold so much. Yeah, we'll be like up to 80% health instead yeah, of... Yeah, he have a lot more. Yeah. Five, this is like from 420 HP to like 500. It's such a big boost. I feel like with the kind of day that Mushi is having, if he did that, he'd like <laughs> accidentally kill his null tally or something. Fair enough, fair enough. So, <laughs> I can't say I blame him. Do you see the Sage's Mask now grabbed by Raging Potato? And AU hey, continue to move about. No Courier Snipe just yet though, and the stacking continues in earnest for the old Alchemist. Uh -huh. 
Bounty's keeping tabs on it though. That's does pretty nice. block the box. And actually, he body blocked. He it. body blocked this, so he double blocks the camps. Very well played by AU. Mm -hmm. That's the main threat. It's just making sure that uh, Rage Potato doesn't get out of control. Doesn't get an extremely fast armlet and radiance. If he gets those, then I don't actually think Fnatic have the tools to shut him down. No, their single target burst is really poor. Like, they've got okay AoE, but killing one farmed super tanky target is not really in their capacity to do so. Uh -huh. I mean, that's until, like, Dagon comes out. <laughs> yeah, I mean, if, if yeah. you're in range for Vendetta, I still think there's definitely potential, but if you're... That's if, in the if early Alka's, to mid game. If the Alka's farming intelligently, he'll be okay. Right. And late game, you're not killing him with just a Vendetta gank. Certainly not. So. It is Raging Potato. He will go in, regardless, so... <laughs> Last game, when he forced staff out of base, I, it's still triggering me a little bit. <laughs> I think a lot of people are still haunted by that game. But probably not the Mineski fans so much. Alright, oh, just popped, and they will find AU. Can he on the Roshi? Illuminate, oh. though, from Demon to the rescue. We'll secure the kill. And I think this okay. is why that, uh, earlier you were asking, like, why is Demon picking this hero so much? He, he takes it to battle much more than, I think, most other Keeper players, who is more for the stacking and farming. Uh -huh. um, he recognized that the Luminate does a ton of damage, Mana League is a great mid-game tool, so that's a good pick. Yeah, the important thing is keeping the fight in one location. If there's one hero that's really good at that, it's going to be the Puck. So they're going to enable themselves to really get big damage, multiple Luminates out in a single fight, and it can re really be a game-changer. Yeah. Elsewhere, Marana is farming very well in the off lane. Oh, mid is Raging Potato dead? Not doing great. Uh, Might be. A couple more right clicks. Tower I focusing on the puck. Okay. He's okay. And AU will be fine too. Although the acid gonna. Um, okay, he's good. That makes the tower very unpleasant. Yeah. He will make it out. Still though, he has to play this extremely carefully because he needs to get his level six. Once he gets his level six, he's in an okay position on the lane. But every moment up until then, it's it's very dangerous for him. And he doesn't have the Sentry Ward active. Like it was already got hundred to take away. Yeah. Well, suicide to neutrals here. Gonna take a quick trip back to the fountain. And Bimbo, I think, just limps home. Uh, meanwhile. They will not let anybody farm this top lane, so Spectre continues to be a very sad panda, only 15 CS, and guys, this is not really a, a hero that catches up by farming if he has a bad lane in stage. They're going to have to find those kills in the mid game. It's what you expect though, right? When you pick the Spectre in this kind of position, uh, you know that they're going to start putting ag aggro heroes to try to contest your lane, and especially a team like Mineski is going to do this. So I feel like they're already planning on getting the Spectre back through track gold rather than through CS. Well, you need a bounty that's high level for that, which... Tomo knowledge, dude. It's yeah. the the boon of every roamer in Dota 2. Oshi being denied the runes here. They really want to secure those bounty runes. Fortunately, Raging Potato, not able to get there. Has he gotten a single bounty rune? I don't think so. I don't think so. Definitely puts a big damper on the Ox economy, but in good news for Mineski fans, RR is having a field day bottom. Nick's doing quite well, all things considered, but RR just free farming his jewels. So start to chase out Demon. Tranquil boots, easy. Has the tranquil boots, and we'll manage to make it away. Quick tango, heal right up. And now, kind of, Jules is strapped. I mean, he has a TP out. Yeah, but he, they, oh, yeah, there's no stuns. Yeah. Starts clapping. <laughs> Easy. But uh, like the Observer Ward in the central jungle is really good for kind of going behind the tower like that. So he knows that he can afford to do that as long as Nyx is showing bottom. And he's able to like put out much more pressure than usual. Well, Miracle actually moves in to farm up some neutral creeps. And the Abounding Hunter looks back towards mid. Yep. Yeah. Really nice having the arrow. So someone who normally couldn't kill a big stack can easily deal with it. By the way, I really appreciate this uh, offensive dueling from Mineski. You know, we're seeing him shutting down Spectre, but this also puts Marana in a more aggressive position. Uh, normally, you see Marana pick, he's just kind of AFK farm for 20 minutes. And I think that's just, I mean, the hero could do so much more. And I think this game, we're going to see Miracle do, you know, more of the active roaming and gank. Oh, they got the Sentry War. This could be a uh, setup, but uh, they need control. Uh, they uh, need an extra uh, hero here. Playing dumb, playing dumb, Ninja Boogie. Just I mean, they actually in. can't do anything. They so. have no Alk stun, so they'll... Oh my god, that Corey is still going to snipe the Corey! I cannot believe that just happened. Oh my god. It just fits this match so well, like... I mean, it fits the last match well. Yeah, well, the last, it's part of this match, man. Whether you like it or not, it's part of the ensemble, and... 
It uh, seems to continue. Oh That's god! The spectre. the spectre haunt. Oh, there's no way you get that kill. While being healed by the warlock, they yeah. hunt in, and they now suddenly want to get the hell away. One arrow could be a great turn. Oh, <laughs> that creep! Come you know on. the bot. The bot aggroed it, so it kept following the other heroes. Oh, but this AU is actually kind of trapped. He doesn't really have a quick, uh, uh, easy path. Oh, or maybe. But he's healed up. Warlock is trapped, or oh. coming in. They stuck around. They still get the kill anyway. And Miracle and RR are just getting kited here. They do manage to get eyes on Ohio, but can they actually make the move in? RR very difficult to bring down, though. He has the Vanguard. That's not really the hero you want to be focusing, especially with three melees. They are just going to have to ignore him and run away. Alki even tried to get involved. That's a circus enters AU. the field of battle, and AU yep. will eventually feed a kill to Miracle. Nice dust. I just saw him move, making that movement with the yeah. sentry in place. Good yeah. recognition uh, by Miracle. In the meantime, uh, we finally see that Jay got a uh, bounty rune, so <laughs> Alchemist is going to start being a hero. Yeah, he's like, there's like a six person team fight in my jungle. I'm just going to go get the rune. Thank you very much. Did. Raven actually haunt in? Yeah, he did, right? Yeah, he did. Yeah, okay, and he poured it back top? Or on the Alchemist. Like, that's uh, the target you really can't go no, on. Al Alchemist's chemical rage being healed by the Warlock. It just is impossible. <laughs> what's his, What's even his HP regen in that state? Probably like 70 or something. Yeah, it's massive. Okay, so very different from how the last game started. Remember, like, AU was getting a ton of kills. He was, you know, grabbing at early level 6. I do believe the Fnatic Raven's were winning most of their lanes. To me, this is kind of a 180. Mm -hmm. I'm, just, I'm pretty worried if I'm Fnatic. Yeah. RR is going to have a very fast blank. Alk was slowed down, but it's going to get Armlet, still the leader in net worth. Miracle got a lot out of the offlane. The Warlock is getting okay levels, not great. They And they're not really snowballing the Spectre at all. Still sitting. Uh, I don't even think he got an assist, but I don't even know if he got any gold for that. He they're was just pretty far away from the kill. They'll just wait for the next haunt, and they'll try to make it go with the Vendetta and the Bounty. If the ba Vendetta Bounty finds the opening for track, you just haunt in every time. But here's the thing, though. By the time that happens, Axe already has Blink. Look at his gold. He's got 2,000 yeah. with Vanguard. The Ancient Farming is really just giving him so much right now. Yeah. And the Veil is already up for the puck, though, so the there's kill potential, there's damage from Fnatic, but there's Armlet and there's Blink for Mineski. I mean, definitely go either way. If you have a big Illuminate with uh, the Veil getting plopped down, haunt. Coil could be massive. The demon's actually not maximum limited. I think this w this would be one of the few games that you do. Quick little snipe there on Ninja Boogie. They'll bring him down. The Veil debut, and they'll give AU the mid lane. Tomes now coming out. Out gonna buy one. Um, I hope not for himself. That's yeah. Very greedy. He might just be buying him with the supports. But top lane Miracle does get jump. Mushi on the hunt. Kind of uh, shades of the Mushi of old. Actually moving, yeah. finding kills. Taking over the game, already 4-0. Like you said, as soon as, you know, Koyo, Han is together, you get kills. Mm -hmm. And they got it on the Marana, so great. Very, very nice. I thought Ninja Pogi had an arm in the first thing. I was very confused. <laughs> After last game, I could believe anything. Yeah, that's true. So, two, uh, we got the Blink Dagger and the Axe. We've got a level 2 Fatal Bonds. Anytime the Warlock and Axe are together, they've got the setup. Then they just need, like, one here to do a follow-through. Like, Starstorm. And they have the Rock, mind you. So, he did eat the book, I believe. Yeah, it looks like it. Jules actually got a oh, point. The Ogre, too. Like, both of them are level 6, so definitely one of, it went to the supports one way or another. Does Ogre supposed to pick up multi gas at this point? Yep. Normally, you don't see it, right? Normally, you just see them, like... But no, in the second def point, def too definitely, definitely levels. Uh, both levels six go for multicast. It reduces the cooldown of bloodlust a lot. Okay. And Here we go. Big fight, huh? Miracle just gets burst down, and now they turn on the jewels. No. Oh, 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 it's on two. Rock. This could be bad. The rock gets oh, on three. Fatal bond? Raven says, "I'm out of here. See you, buddy." Oh, Demon yeah. not yeah. gonna make it home. So it's a rock committed. Blink revealed. They get two. They lose one. Fnatic are okay with that. Mineski I mean, are they're extremely happy about that though. Like this, yeah. is they're like doubling their kill count. It's very important that they get start getting kills on the board. <laughs> I mean, critically, you kill the Marana, but I don't think Marana is even the big factor in this game, right? Raging Pedogia gets another bounty rune. He's up to 2,000 gold almost after the armlet pickup. Yeah, He's getting he so is, much space. The bigger thing is not that they got kills, is that they're leaving the Alka alone. Yeah, yeah. exactly. Arming happily. Arrow not gonna connect. I saw something though. He was still fading out. Oh, they get the goal! Got him. RR taking this game number two over. Now they lob in the stun, the slow. They secure the kill. While Miracle cleans up, or uh, not Miracle, <laughs> Raging Potato cleans up the ancients. I see a Radiance builder and I just think Miracle. So, what what is Fnatic's answer to like a 16 minute Radiance? 
they gotta gank him. No, they have to put a lot of focus in and make nice sure every combo happens. They have to actually like look for him with Vendetta whenever they can. Okay, are trying to get that call, but no out mana. of mana. Yeah. So the Sunshine War game is actually really important here. Seeing the Nyx coming or the bounty coming and protecting your cores is what enables you to really turn the fights here for Mineski. All right, plus 61.5 is uh, Raging HP Regia. Pretty nice. With the armlet, uh, the armlet off, and then you give him a big boost in HP when you toggle it on. So, so yeah, Fnatic really just need to st realize that they need to take control of the Radiant Jungle, the western part in particular, where all the stacks are coming in, and they just need to start rolling and track kills. That this is their only option. They have to haunt. They have to fight. Oh, they're in great position to reveal this smoke gang up on the high ground. They bring in Mushi, but it's in. Storm the red hero. Oh my god. Not even time for a triple dunk, and now the chase is on. They even managed to get eyes on AU. They chase him out. Miracle, no arrow for five. I think he might just make it. Oh, Not trying to block? Sure, the track move speed. <laughs> what? Ouch. Okay, they made they it. They had the ward. So Radiant just had the perfect reaction when the smoke broke. That's the only thing. I think yeah. Fnatic was trying to deward and then just kind of panicked and just ended up getting caught. No, no, they recalled. They knew that this was happening. They had a recall on a hero. But the thing is that. When, I mean, but they know there's an observer ward there. But they were trying to get a catch on Mineski when they smoked up, but it was just RR with the quicker reaction. Yeah. And the worst part was, there was a three-man fatal bond on top of all the heroes. And, oh my god, how? That, uh, that, that guy's back right now, like, a Another ward, guys. Oh, yes, OP, cheating, yeah. hacking wards. Oh man, this observer ward thing is really good to have in your pubs, huh? They, let, they just love the alchemist ward out. Oh, no coil. Oh, the rock comes up. Rock. But is there I'm any follow-up sure. arrow coming through? That's a whip. That's okay. not a good rock, actually. Unless R gets something miraculous. No, he has no mana. No, it's a pretty bad rock. Well, okay. I think Fnatic could use something bad for Mineski at this point, as they are suddenly up 7,500 gold, 5,000 experience. They basically have the Radiance. Was that a track kill? I think so, right? RR gets caught here by Another his power. Another scan. They will get eyes on something, and RR will kill. get picked off. The golem is coming though. Raging Potato might snag this kill. It would be big, Woo. and that is definitely the radiance with that. Yeah, just one more big bird, and he'll have it. And they can't like just go into Roche or something when they take that kind of an exchange. Even on the dire side, they don't have the heroes for it. So we're just gonna see a free radiance coming out for the alchemist at a pretty good clip here, 15 minutes, <laughs> and that's gonna be enough. All right, Fnatic's really falling apart here. Yeah, I actually see no way back into this one unless there's. They have a big Spectre mistakes. and they have Track. They can definitely get back in, but it's it's gonna take so long. Spectre's going for a Yasha build, which, I mean, I I think you need something big like Radiance to have well, a chance. Well, it's it's like Blaze said. I they're they're just all in on the Track kills. But right. the concern for me is, Spectre is good at doing like spread damage, right? But everyone's pretty tanky aside from maybe Marana and. He's not good at focusing on single targets, nor are any of these Fnatic heroes, really. I mean, they, they need gonna a perfect be, combo, right? Alka's they, gonna be god in the mid-game. They need, like, a coil on four, they need a Luminant and Blinding Line on top, and then... What's gonna happen when Alk just walks down mid? He's got the Warlock heal on him, yeah. Ogre Bloodlust, he they just starts hitting buildings. They can't... Like, you kill the creep wave, Alk doesn't care about that. He just keeps on smacking. Mm -hmm. And look at the the ags and buffs that he can give to his teammates. The ogre, the uh, warlock. These heroes can get so much value out of an ag and scepter. Uh, this is going to be a really, really tough game for Manek to bring back if the mid game goes as strong as it looks. Oh, he's under a sentry ward. It's going to be an exaggerated movement from RR. He knows this is happening, oh. and he's just waiting for the opportunity. But... RR blinks away. Expecting more to come, which he's right. Yeah, I mean, you always have to be worried about that haunt coming off cooldown and the perfect time for an initiation. But all the same, like he's just playing with them. They have so much more information with each ward, the smoke, with every all these sentries. They just know what Fnatic are doing and they're responding perfectly. Fnatic on the ropes here. Uh, Mineski searching for that rematch with Faceless. They will bring down the tower mid. Last hit going to Miracle. Point boost already picked up. Over halfway to the Ags with an Alc Radiance behind him. They are definitely going to win the farm war, guys. And right now they're winning the kill war too, up 11 to 7. Even tower advantage going their way now. Ooh, they might get raging. This will be the perfect time. The perfect place, but he's got the armlet. They got to finish him. He toggles it on. And the coil comes through. They still get the kill. That would have been real ugly. But now everyone's coming in. Can they actually make it out? Raven. Swing and a miss, but Ogre's done. Oh, they commit the rock. They are not going to mess around with Raven. And they'll get the kill. They might get more. Ohio on the run. No blink dagger, though. 
No vendetta. Looks like he's dead as well. Yeah, you can the body yeah. Yeah. That's it. Mm -hmm. And they can at least use this Reign of Chaos to push out the top tier too. Like, they, get, they make sure that they cancel the Spectre TP and they turn into an objective. This is going to condense the map a lot for Fnatic. They're going to have minimal farm space. There's a really good Observer Ward that's actually like past tier 2s uh, in the Dire Jungle. And that just allows Eminesky to start dominating completely. This is really bad. <laughs> I mean, there's some games where you look at this kind of depth and you're like, eh, it's fine, you know, they have a, like, they have a Morphling who's free farming, and there's no catch on the enemy team, and they can't really push that well, but I, I think, if anything, it's a bad matchup for Fnatic in a relatively, like, close game at best, and certainly with this kind of deficit. I mean, they basically have to gank Alchemist, like, three, four times in a row just to shut him down. And uh, all the while, Marana's gonna be farming. Yeah, I mean, you pick a poison, right? I, I think you still de rather deal with the Marana than the Alk. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he definitely gets out of hand more. There's a lot of comeback goals to be had yeah, here as there well, you go. so this could be really okay. good. Track kill could be massive. They brain and keeper of the light. He's got to recall no somebody in the puck, I believe. Okay. They do get the kill, but the arrow comes in. They'll get AU. Definitely still worth it regardless. And yeah. it looks like if they get that detection, they will be able to kill him. Like, call too late. AU's out of there. Okay. I mean, they need like two two more times of that, and they're kind well, of. In. Definitely, if you're Mineski, you're like, this camp is warded, guys. Spoil that shot. Mushi finally approaching the Blink Dagger. He had such an explosive start, too. He was making great rotations, was able to combo up with his teammates, got the really early Veil, and now his Blink is delayed to, like, 20 minutes? Well, it's the fact that Fnatic has this lineup where they could get kills, great, but they don't do anything off of those kills. They can't push. They can't rush. They can like, stack Ancients and, and do it, like... They can't even farm fast. Yeah, yeah, yeah. so it's, it's just like, okay, you get kills, great. Well, now it's better because they have a track, but at the time, th those kills really weren't generating much of that either, so... Right. Like they... Even now, it's still only the, the level 1 track. It's not yeah. that amazing. It's, it's great for the Bounty Hunter and not for pretty much this team. Yeah. But Blink on Nyx, Blink on Puck, they have the tools to engage. It's just about vision now. There's a gem on Warlock, so it's a lot harder to go, and Ogre's not the target you really want to jump on. Well, it is a track kill, though, and I think they'll take yeah. it. If they can get it at you, though. He sees Ninja Bogey. No ultimate Ooh. available, actually. The mech comes out, keeping him alive for the time being. RR engages, moves on to AU. Good shuriken. Coil already committed. I think they want to back here. Five Mineski heroes streaming huh? in. But there's the haunt from behind, working on Jules. Can he bring him down? Riva does get that first kill. Track still up. Mushi looking for more. And Miracle perhaps caught a bit on an island. He goes for the Star Storm to blink forward. A very discombobulated fight in one. Raging. Much to Fnatic's liking as Mushi dodges the Alkstun, continues to retreat. AU kiting him beautifully here with the track. Wow. And Why is a perfect disengage by Fnatic? It's only one track kill, but they don't lose anything. I'm surprised Raging is actually in this fight. He could have been pushing tier two up top by now. Like all this time. Yeah, well, he had they BOT. thought that there was an actual fight. They thought that they could win this and turn this. That's why the ogre went back in after being gone on and dropped okay. down below half. Well, the they, if they had the golem, that's a totally different fight. And now they do, but now he's, he's also surrounded. alone. Yeah, he's dead. That's another four man track kill. Oh, unless that happens. Okay, they have the shuriken. Yeah, still a lot of chasing tools for Fnatic. They can always secure the kill if they have vision, and, and as we saw, they can maneuver against them too. That was just beautiful how they were always uh, just uh, far enough away that Mineski couldn't do anything to them. Okay, so in order to finish the Manta, you had to spend 3k go on it. Given the fact that the last five minutes have been so good for Raven, is was there any consideration to say, all right, let's go back for a relic? I mean, if you want that game to be Radiance versus Radiance, it's okay. Kind of mid lane, jump, call, bang, easy. Oh, well, that would have just set back the, the <laughs> Radiance yeah, yeah. even further, but yeah, I mean, it's, I know, it's, it's like, just tough for the Spectre. I like the Radiance and the fact that it again puts Blinks on cooldown, but. In the end, you're still mostly going to be getting that through Haunt, and at the same time, you don't really want this to be a Radiance versus Radiance game, where, like, you are literally planning on this game going 65 minutes. You do not want to get into a farm war with a Marana with an Ags, a, an Alchemist who's free farming, and great Aghanim's bearers for the Alchemist to give to. Yeah, still going for it, oh. even though the arrow didn't connect. That Blade Mail, though. Dunk? Oh, not even necessary. Easy. Yeah, that is the, the Agonim's in full effect, and that is going to be Piranha continuing to improve over the puck. It seems like Fnatic might need a little more track gold, and what's concerning for them now is their deep push is pretty much Coddle, and if he's sitting behind a tower... Oh, he's oh, got arrow. Miracle. Beautiful arrow. Sniping him out. Can he finish him Ooh. off, though? He scoots away. No, down he goes. And that is a nice pick off from Ineski. 
<laughs> was that just a blind one? I don't see any wards. I think he was just scouting the, yeah, the jungle. It was just a scouting arrow that happened to hit Pater. Now, I'm wondering what happened to that gem earlier that Warlock had. Um, previously, he had it, and now it seems like Axe found it. Yeah. I'm not sure if the, the bounty or somebody else is carrying it, but they got it back, and they're actually probably going to find Demon here. Oh, Jimmy. He will get out. Under and that is exactly what he needs to do because, <gasps> well, he should get out. <laughs> he has TPs. You actually want to recall people and fight oh, this? This chemical rage is going to end fairly soon. Ohio wants to make a move, but oh, he's got back up. Going to back up. Here, he's got here. He's going to be able to call anybody that goes on him. There, Ooh, oh there no! Them. It's a trap, Ohio. This is not the kill you're looking for. They will get him, but at what cost? Is the golem comes in? Can they make it out safely? It looks like Fnatic well, will be completely. Yeah. What a clean take. The, the RR. Uh, a four hero smoke, smoke bait, they were Demon. completely wait, ready for it, and yet they still get out. I mean, the aggro on cooldown was the big deal. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He couldn't actually help out the Alchemist. Even the rock just came a little bit too late. Yeah, it was the, the haunt that really. It's all about initiation. If the haunt comes out they before they de axe, that he can't get back into the fight because there's no blink. Okay, they don't see Demon. Demon is just. Okay, Demon's finally found, but now Miracle's Miracle, in the trees. Miracle's also found, trapped in the trees. Bushi's gonna come in. Oh Quick assassination. God. Miracle! Oh, he's tanky, he's being healed up, but he and finally goes down. And he's done another pick. And Jimmy TP's out under all of it. Look at what this keeper is doing. He's making so much space. Oh, another stun. Mushi looking to go back in. He does have the veil available soon. Oh and he's going to play forward, Mushi. silence, or back. Oh, if he had the veil, that's a kill, but three seconds off. All right, this this takes me back, man, to the days where Mushi can do this all the time. I'm glad that he's not like. Mushi was so doing this when most of the other modern mids were in diapers. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I, I'm really glad that like the last game didn't tilt him to the point where he's like, oh, I don't want to make any aggressive moves. Just play conservative. Like that's uh, that's just a death warrant. Like, that's. In fact, I would say he's more aggressive this game. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. It's like yeah. he stepped up and he realized that it's coordinated aggression. That what it's what he needs, and he's been really working with teammates well. Yeah. And demons like 1,000 away from Axe. So if you think he's, he's doing a lot right now. Attack. Passivity is the mind killer, I guess. I don't know. It's just like they need to keep going. They need to find, keep generating these track kills. But again, Haunt is still such a key factor in these fights. Oh, I'm gonna make the move here on Jules. There's the Vendetta. Stun. And nope, just kidding. See you later. No Haunt available. Radiance so Raging checking on his item. He's got the Radiance. He's got the BOTs and Manta. I think you go straight BKB here, right? Sure. I can see that being extremely valuable. He's still free farming. End of the day, he's, he's almost dying. double the Spectre, he's dying. even oh, with the demons. deaths. Yeah. He's giving a lot of comeback gold whenever he dies, yeah. along with the track gold. Yeah, still very far ahead, though. I mean, what do you think he'll go? He'll probably won't go BKB. He'll go for like a, like a Shiva's or AC, right? I mean, Octarine is still on the table. Okay. I think Octarine is probably the standard build, and then armor item into a BKB or into some Axe for your team. It's not, it's not really the best armor game though. It's like all magic or pure damage from Fnatic. That's why I like the Octarine. You keep the chemical rage up almost 100% uptime. You get that raw HP from the items. It's pretty good. Tower about to drop here as Vineski look for the 2-0. Fnatic desperately clawing and scratching to force the game three. You win this game, you still have two chances to make it to Boston, you lose, and you've got to be perfect the rest of the way. Or you will not go on the great journey to the next major. And there have been people talking about how Jules has been like the standout performer for Mineski, and I, while I agree he's been doing so, so much in terms of getting a really good farm, always being in the right spot, I gotta say RR has just been shining. Like, I've, I followed this guy a little bit in Dota 1, and then his transition to Dota 2 when he finally wins. Uh, this, he's, he was never this good. I, he has just come out of nowhere, like a hyperbolic time chamber of skill, and the meta fits his hero pool perfectly. RR has been really just the, the shining star on the team, and it's worked for them across the board. How often do you see Marana go right into a BKB? They need no it. blink dagger. Dude, Miracle knows. I'm saying BKB is a no good item. No BOTs. Item, right? yeah. And just wants to be able to fight. Mm -hmm. As soon as you commit with the leap, you realize, um, I can't, can't escape. I can't. I'm gonna get dream coiled and I'm, I'm screwed. But Ooh. with the VKB, you have hope. Oh, Roche is being smoked on. It looks like the scan misses. No, that was a radiant scan. Mm -hmm. Just in case. Do they have? They have a good deep board here. So if, they... if Demon goes left, his axe will see see this happening. But it's too late. Yeah. Daytime. Not gonna be favoring him in this day. Alchemist with the Aegis. That's big. Yeah. And that's why he, he skipped that. Also, BKB. denying it to Spectre is like one of the best Aegis carriers out there. Yeah. Well, I, I think Spectre right now might not be that strong with the Aegis, but, you know, down the line. <laughs> that's true. 
Okay, they're gonna stop another gank on him. Demon is out though. They don't want to do this shenanigan with the Aegis on top. So, a uh, much calmer and less less psychotic game number two for now. Still a sizable lead for Mineski. They're dual core farming well and lots of agonims to be gifted come late game. But Spectre also getting his items. Now that the Fusel, this is a big spike in power for him. And it might be enough first to just straight up kill the Alk if he gets isolated. I still don't know what Fnatic's game plan is for Alk now. They killed him a couple of times, they slow him somewhat. But when he's hitting your buildings... I just don't think they're very good at killing a 6 slotted Alk. Yeah. They don't have a span, they don't have any sort of heavy single target burst. Yeah, even like the Spectre's item build is going to be mostly based on secondary damage. Like she's supposed to get, like if she even goes for like full refresher... Oh, I see Ohio. He'll get out though quickly. If they go even go for like full refresher Spectre with all of the potential oh, damage. Mushi waiting to leap, but meanwhile they do get the taunt off on AU. Does Mushi actually go? He really wants to fight this, but and he also realizes that's not the fight to take. Spectre's hero is like designed to kill all the other heroes, right? Like it's not going to kill the Alchemist. It's going to kill all his backline support. It's going to. But will he? Like it's a, already a, a Guardian Greaves Ogre, a BKB Marana, a. Pretty easy kill on Ninja Bogey. I, Axe is super tanky. I say Spectre with Manta at Defuso, if you find Alk alone, you could make a dent into him, but he still needs like friends too. Yeah, you can need control. You yeah. need hard disables. That's where the Puck and the Nyx come in. Well, with the Octarine, that permanent chemical rage is here. So we'll see Raging Potato off into the woods. No Manta, and. Five seconds until it's up again. No time for Raven to really do much about it. Gotta say, I really like how Jimmy's using the recall, though. The demon uh, cuddle in the trees has allowed them to kind of always have a at least three or four heroes in position to go for kills. So like they've been actually taking advantage of the global presence, where a lot of teams will just completely ignore that factor into the late game. They might just go high ground. I what's There's, stopping you? Fnatic is so bad at just killing that one tanky hero, and that will be a bloodlusted out. Just smacking away at buildings. He does okay. get blinding lighted though. They're good at fighting in that sense. Oh, RR whips the call. Okay. Plays. Maybe <laughs> jinxing him slightly here. And now they're committing the golem rather early in the fight. Really not the best yeah, rollout. I goal. think actually this Lutz Fnatic maybe have a chance here. And even Miracle going in. Super oh, deep. He does have the BKB. He wants to kill up Demon. He's not going to do it. His BKB is committed. Back. The coil is down. And they look for those Zacklider's beautiful bail placement. Raging Potato has the ultimate though. He's very tanky. Raven trying to find that easy kill. Nothing comes easy though. Him. As they look to beat down the Spectre, they will kill him off. Alk stuns himself. Then he cackles because he's just that tanky. Are out of mana. But Raging Potato can come right back in. No Spectre Haunt, does have buyback, might need to use it. As Vanesky looking for that first tower. I mean, they use everything, even with the buyback. That was Coil, that was Veil, that was Taunt. I don't know. And there's still Aegis, there's yeah. per basically permanent Chemical Rage. Mushi blinking in, jumping out. Just stalling, but the tower's about to die. Is there isn't a Lurker Nyx ready. That could be the game changer. Well, I mean, so it's not poking. poking. Like, it doesn't do enough damage. In the end, they have no way to actually kill this Alchemist. They can only c contain him for a short while. Bloodlust. Okay. Reset. Need the creep wave. Are they going to actually stick around? They have the Aegis. Why not? Haunts on cooldown. Coil Guardian. is coming up soon. Guardian Greaves is a pretty short CD, so I think there is still some good value. He's actually bloodlusting the creep wave. Just getting it in there. Constantly burning a... Uh... Raging's mana. Okay, it runs out. Does that matter though? When he he has a uh, well, he has no mana. Chemical to rage. Oh, it's actually worn off now. But yeah, the greaves come out. Okay, fresh chemical rage, and in we go. Multicast onto Ohio. Mineski looking for the 2-0 and for a date with Faceless in the winner bracket finals. Winner that would go to the Boston Major. They turn back for Mushi, trying to bring him down. Not yet able to find that kill. Raging. Good kiting, but Raging focusing on the prize. Yeah. He wants this Rax. Looks like he might just get it. The Octarine healing him right back up. Blinding light. Slow but steady. It's chop work here. The buildings can't withstand it. He will find the kill. He's got the armlet. Aghanim's number one. They could really go back in if they want. Oh. Who's it going to be for? Arrow. Whew. It's fine. Well, this is where they want to fight. If oh. go Axe gets run out of the base, Vanessa will go. They do not have a golem for 40 seconds, but do they even need it? They work on the Spectre now, diving him, chasing it back. Blink, he wanted the call, but he actually runs out of mana. Oh, he did get it off on Raven. Raven forced back for a moment. Aegis now reclaimed. They dive on the demon. Raging Potato, angry. Oh, wow. And Jimmy, death okay. by the potato for him. That's the melee, and it really feels like it's, I mean, it's what we talked about for minute, minute zero, certainly by minute five, guys, is 
they just cannot kill a farmed alchemist. They don't have the right heroes for it. Yeah, the only place Fnatic can fight is under those two trees near boards, which temporarily Mineski were diving in. But once they fell in retreat and Mushi chased them, followed them outside the base, we saw how ineffective they were at actually sealing the deal on any of these heroes. All right, this is it for Fnatic. They have to have the perfect fight, but the Warlock Gold is there to interrupt it. And Raven forced to turn tail and run. Meanwhile, they bring down Ohio in the Knicks, and this looks like the end for Fnatic. So close to game one, and then in game two, had a good start, but they crumble before the onslaught of Mineski, who take two lanes of racks, basically seal the series. And with that, have a date with Faceless in the upper bracket. Now leading this game by 25,000 gold, 12,000 experience. They just gave an eggs out, I believe. Uh, who actually got it? Ogre. So it's be Ogre, Ogre got right? it? Okay. okay. He's definitely the best X here. Uh, usually you want to blink dagger with it so you can kind of chase and take advantage of the double stun factor, but in here mobility is not for all. You'll waltz right up to them and they won't do a single thing, single thing about it. And X number two, nearly complete. <laughs> so straight into the the Warlock, I imagine. Yeah, yes. yeah definitely. I think Axe gets the last one. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's not even going to last that yeah, long. All they're just Alchemist gonna... gets the last well. Agonist. Let's, let's be real. <laughs> no. <laughs> if you're selfish, she gets the first. <laughs> I mean, it might last that long. Raging really needs like two more, two more minutes to farm the next act. So, what a way to lose a series for Fnatic. I mean, honestly, they're just lucky that they don't have to play another series after this. Like, at least they get a day off to recover. But still, both both matches, uh, the best of one and now this best of three, are got to be haunting them, involving Fnatic. Okay, they want Miracle. They find Miracle though. Perfect chain stun. They do zap him down. Good pick. Okay, a lot of money. But that hero is honestly not the problem. Okay. They Radiant Courier even gets sniped on top of that. All right. They are going to look to engage, though. Good coup, two hero call by RR again. And meanwhile, on the backside, Mushi getting off the coil. Ragey Potato healthy. If they can just kill the team, maybe they'd have a shot. But Jules just beating on Ohio. He pops under the ground and starts to heal up. Very quick regen for him, but even oh faster on the multicast. Jules guns him down and then chases forward, but he walks right into Raven, who will finish him off in short order. Out stunned. Oh, actually healed up. Mushi there with the finish, and now the stun on Raven. Oh, Chase they lose Raven pursuit. Oh, God. This is bad. If they lose that precious Spectre, they might lose. Ninja Boogie for Mineski as well, though. Looking for the taunt, gets the dunk, chop, and dead. Oh, ace up northwest. This is going to be the puck that is able to finish off. No, okay. Mushi's Mushi. making plays, dude. Good plays, okay. but I mean, I'm just I'm looking at this out, guys. <laughs> Still full health. He's just going to BM stun himself under the tower. I mean, tried to manage Tried to manage it. Yeah. Top lane, dead. Mid lane, dead. Wait, Demon's bottom lane. Yo, they, they want this ogre. You're next. Yeah, I don't know about this. What's it gonna mean? Like, you get this big day going, but you're gross, then you just lose two heroes anyways. That's a Guardian Greaves Aghanim Zogre, guys. It's not <laughs> as squishy as you think, and now Demon is gonna pay. This feels like desperation time. Fnatic, give up another. The slaughter continues. And only dents that massive advantage. They're just trying to do everything they can to hold this last lane. I mean, the tier fours are at half health. Come on. Yeah. Come on, Fnatic. I mean, it's, it's, it's our game. Let them call their GG. Yeah, I mean... Oh, they'll be calling it. Don't you worry, <laughs> Louis. Seventh Slot Inspector is able to bring this back. The problem is getting there, and that it's just not happening Look, I'm right saying, now. going back to that Radiance build... No. No. No, Louis. That doesn't help you deal with an Alchemist. Uh, that okay, Mushki trying to go for a solo to heal. Mushki is playing his ass off, and it just doesn't matter. You know, you get, like, so much armor when you're at no HP with the... With the that Graves, Graves yeah. yeah. Very difficult to finish. Alright guys, Miracle, one last hurrah for him, they Shark. got the gem, Ohio's got to be quick on the draw here, RR now sees him, blinks him, calls him, and with the Star Storm, triple, rain of pain, they will finish him off. Circling like sharks in the water here. It's, it's beyond that. The sharks are already chowing down, there's no circling to be had. They might get into Boogie, he does manage to drop his ult though, the rock comes out, and Fnatic go home, at least for today, they are defeated 2-0. Not the way I thought Maneski would win, but man, in the end, this was convincing. Absolutely. This is much more what I expected out of the first game, in the sense that he was going to be undrafting if win one way or another. And we clearly saw that the Spectre picked up a little bit too early and just 